Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you the new annotation experience in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft has rolled out a new version of this capability that overcomes some limitation. Okay, let me walk you through it. Let's go. Here I am in a Microsoft Teams meeting with Diego and Adele. I'm going to share my screen because we need to brainstorm together on, a, on my screen on a picture and I would like to organize an event in this area, in this campus. So going over in this area, a panel, a little panel shows up on top of my screen and here I can start annotate my screen with my colleagues together. So I'm entering the annotation mode right now. And before digging into this experience, the first thing to check is the settings. Because here I want to be sure that my colleagues are able to work with me on my screen. So I'm going to double check that this is properly checked this item. All right, now I can start to sketch something. Let's select this pen. Here, of course, you can change the color, the size, the thickness, all things that you want. Now in this area, we are going to have our stage. So I have now my rectangle here. I can then add the text. I want to have the stage here. And here, of course, I can change also the font color. I want to have red, bold, and I can even add a comment. Review it. Let's send this comment. Now this comment is also visible to my other colleagues. In the meantime, I can see that also Adele is sketching and drawing something on top of this, of this image. I can add shape if I want. I can have a connector, for example, from this entrance to this stage. We have to do something. I can have a, a color, a different color. In this other area, we want to have the food gathering. So I'm going to add a rectangle here. So this is the perfect area for food. So this is the experience that you have. The new addition is the first icon that we can see here. Let's say that I forgot to, to do something uh, with my other software, so I need to switch back to Teams. So my screen is frozen, I can do that. But with this new addition, what I can do now is start interacting with the background. So I can pause this annotation experience and I can go back on Microsoft Teams, for example, or any other software that you want. And here you can review configuration or settings that you that you have. You can change the meeting notes and uh, the meeting uh, options if you want in the case of Microsoft Teams. But of course, with other software, you can do whatever you want. And when you have done, you can then stop interacting with, the, with your uh, background and then you start again where you where you left with your annotation experience. And when you are done with that, you can save a snapshot and this will drop immediately an image in the whiteboard of this meeting. So I can click now on this link, view all saved annotation in whiteboard and this will open directly the whiteboard page for my meeting. Let me stop now sharing my screen and so we can see better where we are and let me also leave the meeting and here we go. So this is the experience that, that you can have working with this thing. So now the good part is that every draw and sketch is selectable. So you can select, for example, a shape and you can change and re-edit what you sketch it. It's incredible. All right, we have seen the new annotation experience in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, add a comment down below. Let me know what do you think. I hope to see you next time.